All right, are we good? We're live. Oh. Yeah. That's, okay. That's, that seems about right. All right. Jesus. All right. My name is Jason Fisher. Bring you back to. Oh shit. We got. Oh, our flowers are dying. Yeah. What's up? What's cute? Babies. No. Oh, puppies. Oh. Oh. Damn it. I want a puppy. <clears throat> You're still on board of getting a puppy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't think, you know, I need to convince you, really. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna pay for it. We're not naming our dog Fudge. I don't know. That was you. I said I could live with it. <laughs> but. No, what I was gonna say, um, I was, uh, I was reading through the comment section of, uh, The Clash's Rock the Casbah, oh, yeah. and somebody did, like, an, an analy- an analyzation of the music video, and it was just like, this music video is 0% dancing chicks, uh, no, you know, I have to read the comment again, because it was like, it was three things, it was, no, 0% swearing, 0% dancing chicks, Something else that was 0%, and then it was, uh, 48% The Clash, 50% uh, an Arab and a Jew having fun, and then it was, uh, 1% Armadillo. <laughs> yeah, no, because there was an Armadillo in the music video, and it's just like, there's like, there's zero dancing chicks, there's zero swearing, and a few other things, and it's just like an Arab and a Jew having fun, the clash, and an armadillo. <laughs> it's like I mean, hey, it's pretty funny, you know? Like damn. That's Oh shit. Alright, come on. Oh shit. One. Alright.
<clears throat> I got an extra 1200 for that. I'm actually really looking forward to getting a pu puppy. What? Yeah. Why do they sound too human? Keegan. For for a girl dog. I know. Fucking like dogs have all kinds of fucking names, dude. Jeez. All right. You know, and watch the dog grow up to be that basic white dog. <laughs> hey, look, don't put that bad voodoo on the dog. Jesus. That's a good one. That's a grenade launcher. And now you bleed. <laughs> Man. Speak, speak, Remy. Boy. Good boy. Man, I I would give almost anything to have my, have a dog do that. It would be worth the fucking angry Karens yelling at me. Yeah. Yeah. I just like I go to like I don't know like like the like Walmart or something with this, with like a service dog, and it's like the service dog is just yelling and screaming obscenities, and like everybody's just like, "Sir, can you control your dog?" And then like I'll play dumb and be like, "What? I'm sorry, I'm deaf. This is my hearing dog." <laughs> And they're like, sir, your dog is swearing. Oh, that's cool. That's so cool. What is he saying? Did your dog say no? So when Karen's like, can I pet your dog? Don't like, mm. <laughs> Well, I'm sure the dog would say yes. Yeah. I really hope that dogs don't like Karens, you know? Yeah. Ultimate form of fuck you. Karens just suck the fun out of everything, man. They suck the fun out of bonfires. They suck the fun out of, you know, going to the grocery store. You know, it's just like, even working at a grocery store, they suck the I mean, working at a grocery store is not fun. I'm just saying. But, but it's even less fun with the Karens. Oh, yeah, no, totally. I would just fuck with Karens like all the time when I was working at a grocery store because it's, it's just really fun. What was even better is like I had buddies of mine that were at the customer service desk and they'd just be like, uh, the Karen would come up to them and be like, hey, this employee of yours was doing like this, this, and this. And, go, and they're like, yeah, that dude don't work here. We fired him a while ago. He just kept the uniform. And he shows up every now and then causing trouble. It's so fun. When, when your buddy at the customer service desk like throws you a bone like that, it's great. But like, yeah, that dude doesn't work here anymore. We fired him a while ago and he just kept the uniform. <laughs> every now and then he shows up in uniform just bugging Karens. And I'm like, yes. People gotta get the get themselves friends like that. Friends like that at a grocery store is just great, you know. All right. Oh, what the fuck? I got weeds. Just like the uh, you know unemployed bum living on my couch. 
Never heard that? The unemployed bum living on my couch? I'm not talking about anybody, it's the joke. Animal crackers in my pantry. Sure. On a triple date? Possibly a triple date. Uh, how many couples are going to be there? <laughs> well, it would be me and you, obviously. Obviously, that's um, one. Katie and her oh, are they finally together? <laughs> oh. So. Alright. Okay. Is Brianna that one chick that I got into a fight with when we were playing Uno? Yeah, she's a Uno girl. <laughs> you know what's funny? Sup? Both Kitty and Brianna have a guy named Brandon. Alright. Both me and Brianna have a guy named Jason. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. Her heard Jason's black, I think. But I think that's funny. I don't think I've ever met a black Jason. I cool. Think he's black. I don't remember. Alright. Ah. Yeah. If anything, I'm like I'm the I'm the kind of white person who's like there's not enough spice, or there's not enough um, salt. Holy shit! All right, we can get rid of our turnips. One thirty-four. I am not playing this bullshit game anymore. I'm I'm selling my fucking turnips. I'm pretty sure I don't remember what it was off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure it was one oh two. So. That's a profit, I don't care. And I'm not talking about Chuck either. Chuck? Yeah, from Supernatural. Oh, wow. So, was it ever confirmed that he was God? Right? I don't know, why did he disappear? Yeah. There was no light, there was no nothing, so it's like, it's not like he died and went to heaven. Like, he's not a fucking Jedi where when he dies, you know, he comes a not Yeah. So, like, I don't think he was, like, a prophet necessarily. He fucking could have been God, you know? Yo, shout out to God being the fucking nerdy fucking kid, you know, that kind of looks like Seth Green. I know it's not Seth Green, I know that. Yo, does Seth Green ever show up in Supernatural? That'd be fucking cool. Uh, I just want to see Sam and Dean getting high with Seth Rogen. That'd be fucking great. What? What? You broke your game? You broke your game, I broke my penis. Really, dude? Also, it was like really bright out. Like, I got the sun right in my face. I like how the bulletin board is just refusing to update because like, all it does say like, oh, hey, this Saturday, the fishing tourney. Yeah, I know.
Would you like a teddy bear? What? Yeah. All right. Well, fine. I got a pocket, got a pocket full of teddy bear. And it's all mine. Whoa! Three hundred thousand. Oh man, I need sunglasses, man. Yeah, dude, it's in my face. God damn it. 330,000. All right. All right. Okay. That's all I wanted to do. All I wanna do is have some fun. I got a pocket, I got a pocket full of sunshine. Fuck, man, I wanna smoke some weed. Yo, tomorrow's painting day. It's gonna be real great. Painting day, yeah. Cause Red updates his inventory uh, every Wednesday. What? Today? It's Tuesday. Oh fuck! I'm off. It's Wednesday. God damn it! Okay, I'm gonna hop on the bus to the city. <laughs> God damn it. Fuck, it's today's painting day. Yeah. Shit, I was looking forward to this. God damn it, alright. Yeah, no, he, he updates his inventory on Wednesday. I can't wait for Wednesday, babe, that's the day. Like, ah, fuck. God damn it, alright. Well. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, hey, I just noticed in the back of the bus there's a fucking poster for the Happy Home Academy. Look, you see it right there. With Lyle. Yeah. Uh, how did I just notice that? Nah, that was a really bad voice crack. I thought today was like the anniversary of something. I'm like, please don't tell me I missed an anniversary. I'm typically good at that, you know. I don't know. Listen, it's just like... Oh, hey, here's Gloria again. Cool. Hmm. Alright, hey, Crazy Red, let's go. Oh, there's a bamboo thingy. And it's... That's... Wait. The strange painting. Hold on. Well, no, because I know I have a fake one of these. I just don't remember if I have the real one or not. Yeah, no, I don't... Okay, so I don't have the real one, so I know I bought a fake one of these. It's crazy! I'll take it. I don't have a choice. Well, I do have a choice, but... Hey, look, babe, check it out. Bamboo. bamboo. You want some bamboo? 
That deer scare, okay. Yeah. Yeah. There was a meme where it's just fucking Harry and Ron being stupid. Where it's just like Doctor Strange shows up to Hogwarts and Dumbledore is just like, "All right, kids, meet your uh, new uh, defense against the dark arts teacher." It's fucking Doctor Strange, and uh, it's just Harry and Ron going back and forth. And it's just like, "Isn't that that Doctor guy? Who? No, Strange." Uh, and then I, I don't remember how the rest of it goes. It's like I have to look it up. But it was just really fucking funny. Ron and, Ron and fucking Harry being dumbasses for god knows how long. No, it's like we just met the guy. Don't you shouldn't be calling him that or something. I don't know. It's, it's something stupid because he's like he calls him strange. And he's like that's not nice. We just met him. <laughs> fucking Ron and Harry. <laughs> If this is a fake painting, I'm gonna give it to you because I already have one of these. I mean, it actually, I don't think it hurts your Happy Home Academy thing. Cause my basement is the model room for the Happy Home Academy. Okay. Yeah, and I have like, my basement is just filled with uh, well, it's filled with fake paintings. So oh, okay. it must not do anything for my score. So that's nice. I thought I was gonna get, you know, deducted a couple of points for that. Yeah. What, you mean Daniel Radcliffe? Yeah. Shit, dude. I've seen a couple of homoerotic fanfic of Harry Potter. Not that I actively sought it out or anything, I just, it just happened to, you know. I, look man, the internet's a very dangerous place. Oh shit, it's real! Oh! Alright. Okay. Cool, alright, it's real! Woohoo! How many how many paintings is that do we have? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight out of twenty-two. Yo, that's a third of the way there. Shit. Yo, alright. Here it is. Yo, the strange painting. Donated by me. I'm gonna go ahead and tweet this. In case you missed today's episode. Yo. check out the diving beetle real quick dude cool so we're making progress i may not have gotten the angelfish yet but you know yeah yeah right man i do not feel bad for the people that got that tattooed on them Have you messed around with any of the constellations at all? No. Cause I did. And I I and then I totally forgot about it. I wonder when I took the fingerprints away. Right. And I totally forgot about it. All you gotta do is just like uh go upstairs to the uh, uh observatory. Yeah. I don't like playing I don't like playing You mean City Folk?
Well, it's also, you know, old. I don't know, like, I feel very nostalgic playing this game. I I I played the original. Original boner. Is that what the uh, the O and B stands for in OBS original boner series? Sure. You know, you would think being somebody who's like a personality on YouTube, you like you would think I would know what OBS is, but I actually really don't. Yeah. Um. All right, that Rick Sanchez. <laughs> <laughs> It's fine. No, it's cool. I, I just busting your chops a little. But yeah, no, I have no idea what the hell OBS is. And it's just like, I just like, I think it has something to do with the webcam, but. Old BS. There you go. I'm walking here. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot I made her say that. Uh, I got problems with my catchphrase. It's like so last decade. That was a couple of decades ago. I need something bright and happy and bright. Or whatever. Just change it for me, please. No sweat. What should Puddle's new catchphrase be? Alright. Oops. There you go, that fits. <laughs> nope, that doesn't fit shit. Well, no, I was gonna put hashtag farm fresh, but. Farm fresh. Sounds pretty good. Farm fresh. Go ahead. I want to thank my mom and dad for all my loving fans. Oh, that'll be the next- well... I wouldn't be able to put a space, but yeah, I probably could put Booty Fresh. Baby, is your booty fresh? Cause that's, uh, that's my dinner- dinner tonight. What? Ah. Uh, it's fine. Alright. Alright. Where the fuck are those damn fish, dude? Cause like, I really, really want to get the angel fish just so I can get it off my list. And that knife jaw is really gonna bother me cause I still haven't gotten that yet. Really? Yeah, and it goes away in November. So right around the time the tuna comes back, the, you know, well, I should say it, it's it's available until the end of November, and then once December rolls around, if I still haven't gotten it yet, I'm gonna get in trouble. Cause that's basically the challenge is over, cause I I lost. I lost. Did you know that the uh, the mole cricket goes away uh, in after after the end of June? Well, I mean, I already got it, so I got it for both the Critterpedia and the museum. I'm still mad that I didn't get that tuna from, uh, you know, Rizzo. Should I... You know what the best catchphrase should be? What's up? Bit of sour cream. <laughs> sour cream. Well, yeah, that's the exact same amount of characters as Farm Fresh. 
I don't think it's necessarily a character thing. I think it's the size of the character. Because, like... Yeah. That's dumb. I know I already got all the May bugs, so that's fine. I'm just waiting for the June bugs. The June bugs are gonna be crazy. Really? Oh, you bitch. Oh, it's a good thing the, the uh, recycling bin gets empty tomorrow. It's every uh, Monday and Thursday, so it's uh, now that I know it tastes Wednesday, so that's nice. Yo, I'm so glad that I got the painting because it's random, so it God only knows if I waited a day. I don't want to find out. Oh man, I wonder what the, the, the fish is gonna be for the fishing tourney. Cause this is the last fishing tourney, uh, I think for the rest of the year. No, you know what, I take it back. I don't think it's the end of the year. I think it's at least because in June, they switch from the fishing tourney to uh, the bug catching contest. And, uh, Chip goes away for a while, and he gets replaced by a lizard by the name of Nat. And uh, they do- he does bugs instead of fish, for obvious reasons. Yeah, I know, and then, um, Flick was like one of his apprentices or something like that, kind of like how CJ is the uh, nephew of, uh, Chip. Yeah, that's his nephew. I didn't know it. Yeah. I think I think CJ said that he was Chip's nephew. Yeah. Like she says it, so. Their brother and sister. Blathers. It's kind of sad to see series staples go away like that. You know. Like, it's all well and good to introduce new characters, that's fine, but when you alienate longtime fans who have been playing since the original, like, that's... That breaks your heart, you know? In ways that people can't even imagine. Cause, like... Yeah, I understand Chip is old, I understand that. Joan is old, she probably deserves to retire happy. Tor Timer was old. Um... But, like, the last game that Tour Timer appeared in was, um, uh, the one on the 3DS. And, uh, that was, like, his official retiring. Because, like, the, uh, the second you walk into the town, you become mayor, right? And it's just, like, he's supposed to be the mayor. And he's just like, I don't want to be mayor no more. You go do it. And then he goes and retires. And he retires as, you know, an old fucking turtle, you know? And then, like, you know what he does for his retirement? Him and his family have, like, a, uh, an island getaway resort where, like, you can hop on a boat, sail over to the island, and, like, collect, like, coconuts and rare bugs and shit. Yeah, it's, it's fucking great, you know? And, like, his, like, granddaughter or something will, like... If you don't want to bring your own tools because it takes up inventory space, you should fucking go, you know, borrow tools from his granddaughter. It's great. So it doesn't take up space in your inventory. That's fucking smart. That's awesome. They had something very similar on uh, on the GameCube one, which I actually really want to get the GameCube one and play that again. 
Like, I really, really want to play the GameCube one again. It'd be great. Because, like, the GameCube Animal Crossing is, like, notoriously difficult. And I don't think, like, as hard as I try, I don't think I'll be able to 100% this game in a year. Listen, you never played the original. Also, I'm pretty sure the guidebook is going to be extremely expensive and probably not accurate, so that's going to be real nice. Not to spoil spoil the uh, potential follow-up series to this. And, like, with each passing day, I'm getting more and more impatient, and I really want to start it, but, like, it wouldn't make sense to start it right now, you know? I told you what I wanted to do, right? For a, well... It wouldn't exactly be a sequel, it would be more like a prequel. That's the only real spoiler I'm gonna give. I've been alluding to it, like, for a couple of months now. Oh, shit, alright. Yeah, dude. Cool. This dude just traded me uh, a floor that I was actually looking for, for a, for a fish. Cool. Well, no, cause like check it out. So I got it's like, this is like it's kind of like uh like the uh the M. C. Escher painting where it's the fucking staircase. Okay. All right, hold on, yo. Huh? Yeah. Crystal methany. That mugshot was not very flattering, but then again, you know what mugshot is. Be like, hi, my name's Crystal Methany. Man, that fucking story that that dude told us at uh, Tyler's party is fucking crazy. Yeah, the pregnant lady with the coke. Got a blast! <laughs> fucking Christ. Is she pregnant with Jimmy Neutron? Jesus. You know, watch that kid grow up to be Jimmy Neutron, you know? We're, we're talking smack now, but you know, 13 years from now, holy shit. Got a blast! <laughs> He'll fucking put Elon Musk out of business. <laughs> Elon Musk is gonna fucking twiddle around with fucking like shitty fucking rockets. And like, you know, at age like 12, fucking, you know, this Jimmy Neutron kid is just gonna be like making actual spaceships, you know? Oh man. That's just what Coke does to you, man. What make you go crazy? What? Make you go crazy. Yeah, dude. Which is even wilder the fact that Coke is supposed to be a painkiller. Like that's what its intended use is, is you know, for killing pain and shit. Yeah. Got a blast. You know what? If I was surrounded by cops and I knew it was gonna be the end, I would probably do something similar. Just, you know. It's that whole mentality of going out with a bang. Like, you know, you know you're gonna go down, but like, you get to choose. Yeah, man. You're fucked either way, it doesn't matter. You know, might as well go out with a bang. It's like my favorite way to go out.
Yeah, see, check it out. Right there. That's the fake one. Well, see here, now I have a problem where I have way too much shit in my basement. I just keep a lobster locked up in my basement. Alright, uh, shit. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fucking... Oh, god damn it. Alright. God damn it! My fucking dinosaur bones. There you go. I, I like how I can't even see the iguana on. MC Escher, that's my favorite MC. Just keep your 40, I'll have an Earl Grey tea. Oh, fuck, man, if some Oh, really? If somebody offered me a 40, I'll take it. I ain't no punk bitch. Just don't mind me just redecorating my basement. I'm so happy I got the purple roses. It's like some of my favorite roses. The best rose to ever rose. I still can't get orange fucking tulips. Or orange roses. Why are orange roses so hard to get? Alright. Oh, god damn it. Alright. I'm whiter than sour cream. I do calculus just for fun. Oh, okay, all right. I could sure kick your butt in game of ping pong. I'm a wizard minesweeper. I can play for days. I'm going to be amazed at my skills. I'll set the place ablaze. When my friends need a website, who do they call? I do HTML for them all. I made a homepage for my dog. Got myself a fanny pack there, mm -hmm. having a sale down at the gap. Mm -hmm. Do I know all the lyrics to that song? Probably. <laughs> I was like, I am so white and nerdy. It's real. <laughs> I am white and nerdy. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! God damn it! God damn it! Oh shit! Oh, that's fucking trippy. That'd be really weird to look at high. Did I tell you? Look, MC Escher. Yep. You should see the the, the wallpaper too. Nope. God damn it. I have seven fake paintings. What? Yeah, and they're like, they're four grand a piece. So how much money is that that I wasted? I don't exactly have a choice. I have to buy them. Because here's what happens if I don't.
Because if I, if I don't buy them, then I don't know if they're real or not, because there's no way to tell. Ugh. Uh, I'm gonna do a little house cleaning. I'm gonna clean out my inventory. I got it anyway. Ow. Ow. Give it pump myself in place. I need to, uh, uh, really quick, uh, sell a bunch of shit. <laughs>
I'm never gonna get the chest floor, by the way. I just realized that. I have way too many gyroids. Fuck this. I mean, they don't do anything, honestly. Of money. I mean, I need to, you know, I need to rack up, you know, a million dollars. Oh, shit. I need to find a way to rack up a million dollars so I can go ahead and, uh. No, so I can go get the. I didn't. I didn't know that there was, um, more to the, uh, thingy, so. The town fund, I didn't realize that, because, like, the option to give more was... Yeah. No, I didn't know. Like, I was just like, oh, hey. And then, because the lady was just like, oh, hey, do you, do you want to donate? I'm like, sure. Is there any reason? She's like, I don't know. It's like that's just her fucking tip money and just like yeah working at the post office sucks do you think like well yeah obviously but like do you think there's like I don't know, hold on. I totally lost my train of thought. I gave up so hard.
Well, that looks like all the stuff I can throw away. I got three more spaces in my inventory for shit to throw away. these bonsais and shit, you know? I really do need to clean up my house just a little bit, honestly. I got candy everywhere. I need to get rid of the candy. Well, I mean, I'm, wait I'm waiting for Halloween. I got a jump start on that. Dude, Halloween's gonna be great. Halloween's gonna be fantastic. My inventory is so goddamn full. Luckily for me, I, a lot of the stuff that I sell, I can just buy back later, but keep it being later. I'm not gonna do that now. Getting rid of those paintings was a good one. I didn't sell them, because they're only like 10 bucks a piece. so bad i gotta poo so bad all right i feel like i feel like that's it honestly i really wanted to clean out my house my house is just full of shit honestly what yeah oh yeah oh yeah you know what i just realized that allegory oh uh, my anus oh my poor anus oh Alright, and my name is Ben Jason Fisher. We'll see oh shit, come on. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.